Hello again and welcome to Bookish Brits. My name is Michelle and today I want to talk to you about Anti-Bullying Week and some of the books about bullying that I wish that I'd read as a teenager. Anti-Bullying Week is something that I heard about this year from a UK YA author, Siobhan Curram, who is the author of several books for teenagers including Shipwrecked, Dear Dylan and Finding Cherokee Brown, which I loved. And because of its, um, because of the themes of bullying included in Finding Cherokee Brown, Siobhan Curram has decided to write and publish a free non-fiction ebook called Finding Your Inner Cherokee, which is filled with insights and stories about people who have been involved in bullying, as well as some advice and some activities to help um, victims of bullying find their happiness and confidence again after bullying. I think it's a wonderful um, little book and you really should download a copy if you get it. Anti-bullying week is something that I feel very strongly about. I have quite a lot of experience with bullying growing up and in my teen years um, I was bullied from everything from the style of my hair, my skin colour, the fact that I wore glasses, you know, the um, that I did well in school, that I enjoyed reading, my weight, um, there were many different factors that came into into my um, experiences with bullying and the reason that I really wish that I um, had more access to different books about bullying as a teenager is because I love the very wonderful um, messages that come through in books involving bullying. The first message um, that I wish that I'd known as a teenager is that you are not alone. Um, now being bullied can be a very isolating experience and at times, especially for me, I felt very ashamed of um, the fact that I was bullied and because of that um, I didn't really speak out about it, I didn't tell people what was been going on, I felt incredibly alone. Now I, I went through many difficult things in my teenage years and what really helped me was reading books, um, either fiction or non-fiction, um, books that helped me realise that these were problems that I didn't have to struggle with on on my own. Um, there are other people in the same position as I was and there is always help available. The second message that I find is very important when talking about bullying in um, young adult fiction is that it is not your fault. This is a very important message. I think um, even now, many years after my experiences with being bullying, with being bullied, and I still struggle with this message. I really wish as a teenager or growing up that someone had said to me, and said to me several times, because once is never enough, it is not your fault. It is not your fault. Now the third message that um, I really enjoy reading about in books dealing with bullying is that it will get better. Things, um, things will get better. Um, for, for me that happens because of two things. First is that I was able to connect with people who loved me, either family or friends. And the second is that I was able to find um, hobbies and activities and things to do which I loved. And with the combination of both of these things, both people who loved me and doing the things that I love to do, I was able to find more confidence in myself and was able to be happy um, again in a way that I hadn't known 
since before bullying. So those are the three main messages that um, I, I take from the books that I've, I've shown you. Okay, so um, for all of the rest of this week and next week, the other members of Bookish Brits will be bringing you more videos to do with anti-bullying. I hope you enjoy that and I hope that um, you are able to get involved in, in some way with the anti-bullying week. Um, if you have any suggestions of books that I might enjoy reading, if you have any thoughts about Anti-Bullying Week or this video, I would love to hear from you. Thank you and goodbye.